Now, journalists in Fort Porto Municipality, Kabarole District, under the umbrella body, Toro Media Practitioners Association, Tompa, have petitioned the Office of the Police of Professional Standards Unit and Kabarole RDC over assault of journalists by a section of security officers. They point fingers at the Kabarole District Police Commander, John Faustin Oese. The alleged assaulted journalists include Fortun Katunji, a talk show host now admitted, Rita Kobusingi, a news anchor, and Sylvia Kugonza, news reporter, all attached to Jubilee Radio in Fort Porto Town. The three were walking home at 7 p.m. when the Kawarole District Police Commander ordered the officers on duty implementing the curfew directive to beat them up despite identifying themselves as journalists. Between identical zate. Don't you have canes? Beat them. After the journalists presenting their petition to respective officers, one of the assaulted journalists, Fortin Katunji, collapsed and was rushed to Alpha Medical Center for treatment. Journalists have vowed to boycott covering police activities and all COVID-19 related events until their matter is addressed. We are going to suspend all activities of police and all activities of COVID-19 in Kabarole if they don't act immediately. He's right here now, can't hear well due to the punches he was given. They also demanded an official apology. Vincent Twesige, the Renzori West police commander, condemned the acts, citing that every complaint should be backed with evidence for smooth follow-up of the cases. You should come to us with evidence because your alleged Twesige is beating, but you don't have any sufficient, you don't have even any bruise around yourself. So we want evidence if you to report. Our PSU is there and the presidential directive is a law. For us, we are here to enforce the law. The Toro Media Practitioners Association chairperson, Patra Kebisembo Kirungi, said police should understand the role of the media instead of battering them. Even if they were not journalists, you could tell them to, you know, uh, give them a warning instead of assaulting them. So we, what we want is citizens should not be insulted or assaulted in the process of enforcing the curfew. The journalists have registered a case with the Fort Porto Police Station. For UBC News, I'm Elizabeth Nakakoni and Kabahenda Bridget reporting.